Welcome to Visual Knowledge. Three reasons to love René Descartes. René Descartes was a French philosopher, mathematician and scientist. He has expressed ideas on the method of doubt, the dream reality, knowledge, hyperbolic reality, Cartesian doubt and much, much more. So is this world real? The dreams feel real and you can touch and drink the water. The fire feels real and it felt like Tom existed. On the ship I could see and smell the sea. The logic is that if you could feel the fire and you could feel Tom as a physical entity, but that is not real as it's a dream, then how do we know if anything is real? This leads into Cartesian doubt or methodological scepticism, which is the process of being sceptical about the truths of one's belief. So let's move the context into understanding the world and we will come back to the dream. Sarah states labour fight for the poor and that their circumstances have improved under this political movement. Now let's apply scepticism to this position. If it was true that under the last labour administration, the rich got richer, owning more of the country's wealth from 47%, to 54% and if it's true that under the same administration the poor got poorer then we know this statement is factually incorrect. Of course that does not mean that there have been Labour governments that have been beneficial to the poor and of course it does not mean that the Conservatives are better for the poor but it does mean that if the statistical premise is accurate that Sarah's statement is wrong. In Descartes when we find these inconsistencies we need to start again and we need to use the hyperbolic doubt more on that later. Of course there may be other variables such as the recession, different governments, different outcomes but let's not lose sight of the point and the point is to question everything which has the impact to develop our narrative. So why should we question everything because we don't know it's real? But what else do we know other than being skeptical and what about that dream? Well, this answer, partly inspired by the big philosophy book, can be broken down into three phases. Nothing is certain, but when I say I think, therefore I am, I cannot be wrong about this, and therefore I am thinking, and therefore I exist. In The Method of Doubt, Descartes questions that knowledge is incorrect. His premise here is that sensory experience, i.e. perception and feel, which is the primary source of knowledge, is erroneous, meaning incorrect. Therefore, this erroneousness must be doubted. So in the first phase of hyperbolic doubt, Descartes says only accept information that is true. In this sequence, we are getting the contrast between knowledge and information. So information is primarily facts, while knowledge can be facts based on sensory experience, which in Descartes' filter, these are not facts at all. So in the Descartes universe, the distinction here is very important. So we question knowledge and moving on from Descartes' perspective, bad logic and confusion are the problems in this world. So for example, hyperbolic doubt in its simplest form is logical solution focused problem solving. And the following is, is paraphrasing that. So we have ascertain the facts, break down the facts into smaller parts, solve the easiest issue first and make further lists for other issues slash obstacles. From my perspective, we can alter the context and use this in many facets in today's society. So a manager at a popular bike shop could use the hyperbolic doubt to create a more efficient workforce and an entrepreneur could use the hyperbolic doubt to increase awareness and efficiency in their business. Now, of course, we can question Descartes' logic. For example, the ontology logical argument is based on the premise that God is perfect and we can debate that position but we can see that there is a logical template to his narratives. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Subscribe, like and share with Facebook friends.